When it comes to high school soccer, Brownsville Porter is on the five-year plan, as in making it to the state semifinals every five years, 2006, 2011, and now in 2016. Well, they also made it back in 1984. This year, they take on El Paso East Lake in the 5A Boys State Semifinals. Let's head to the pitch here at Burkleback Field and check out the highlights here on 956 Sports. Jose Espidia and his Brownsville Porter team looking for their third straight state semifinal win. Teams marched in at sunset set, though it was long after dark before the offenses got going. Seventh minute, Marco Don Juan shot blocked by an East Lake defender. Three minutes later, Don Juan had another chance for the first goal of the match, but the white round object rolled off his foot. Eleventh minute, East Lake midfielder Alan Navarro's long shot too high, still nil-nil all the way to halftime. Let's fast forward to the second half in the 46th minute. Don Juan centers it up for a teammate, but the 21-yard shot just off the mark Still nil-nil, but not for long. 49th minute, Alexis Armendariz is shot saved by East Lake keeper Kevin Gomez. East Lake can't clear it. Alexis Anzulis dribbles around one defender, lets it fly from 15 yards away, and it beats Gomez, who is still out of position. One nil quarter. I saw the ball coming towards me, and I saw the defense coming, so I, I just fainted, and I saw the goalie was a little bit in the front, so I just shot it through the top. We told him that you know whoever scores first is, is, is gonna is gonna win this game because uh, it was such a tense game, so very very evenly matched, and and we told him once we score one, they're not they're they're not gonna have a reaction. 51st minute, East Lake nearly ties it up, but the shot is a few feet wide of the mark. 53rd minute, Daniel Brasino's pass nearly headed in by Don Juan, then nearly kicked in by Don Juan. 56th minute, East Lake's Filiberto Carlos dribbles in, but the keeper Mario Rios with the save. 62nd minute, Don Juan again with another scoring opportunity, but again he misses the net. He would not miss the target on his next shot. 65th minute, check out the fancy dribbling by Roberto Brasino. Makes four Falcons miss. The shot saved by Gomez, but right to Don Juan. He doesn't miss the goal this time. 2-0 Porter, and that basically ended any chance of an East Lake comeback. It was a play that we started in the mid the midfield. I found the ball that the goalie, he, he left it there, so I just ran as soon as possible because we've, we've been training and sprinting. In my mind, I had, this is the last sprint I'm going to do. So I just did the last sprint, and I kicked the ball. To, to go. 74th minute and the icing goal by Enzoris. He dribbles right past the keeper and hits the open netter for a second tally of the match. 3 nil Cowboys. I was one on one with the goalie and I just, I played the goalie and I just made it in. Enrique Soto would add one more tally in the 75th minute. The Cowboys outshot the Falcons 12 3 in the final 40 minutes and dominated the final half hour of the match. They win 4 1. A late Falcon PK spoiled the shutout, but not the victory for Espidia and his Porter team. We knew it was going to be a very tough uh, Apostle team and we just told our kids uh, we need to take advantage of our opportunities. Uh, this is the playoffs, we're in the state finals. We had four clear chances in the, in the, in the first half, so the second half we just came out and, and we took advantage of them. We had to adjust some things there, but at the same time uh, we, we were able to create chances and that, that was good for us. Porter advances to the final to take on Frisco Wakeland. Both teams undefeated, both looking for their second football state title. We saw them today, they they very, very physical, very fast, and they're quick. But, you know, uh, we're going to have to implement our style of soccer and, and, and take advantage of that. From the pitch in Georgetown, I'm Greg Sherman for 956 Sports.